So our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, with the UK number one spot up for grabs at 72.5 kilograms. This scheduled for five three-minute runs and to be fought under the full Muay Thai rules. So let me first of all introduce to you in the red corner, fighting out of the Master Stan Academy, ladies and gentlemen, Niall Brown! So making his way to the ring is Niall Brown, a very good fighter indeed, had a great performance against Chris Shaw from Scotland last time out on Yokel. And he trains at the Master Scan Academy with my original coach. If it wasn't for Master Scan, I wouldn't be sat here. So if you like me, blame him. If you don't like me, blame him. There you go. Do I care? No. Niall Brown's a good fighter. This is going to be an absolute scorch of a contest. Don't you go away here on your top 48. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Niall Brown. Niall Brown then from the Master Scan Academy. And facing now this evening, his opponents in the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Joe Craven. So young man from the Halifax. Yorkshire making his way to the ring, the British number one, Joe Craven. Said he's really trained hard for this, he made the way easy. And under the and the, uh, the auspicious eyes of Richard Cannon, Richard Cannon, I apologise, Richard Smith, Lisa Smith, James Badger France, Liam Harrison, Andy Housen, the names of Matt Jim has done an absolute brilliant job for Muay Thai as a massive scan, this will be good. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Freeman. So here's the stat set, 17 fights for Niall, 14 wins, two losses, one draw, 34 fights for Craven, 29 wins, five losses, 72.5 kilos, number one title. Oh, great. So this contest, ladies and gentlemen, matched at 72.5 kilograms, scheduled for five three-minute rounds, and once again to be fought under full Muay Thai rules. UK number one spot up for grabs in this contest. Between, and firstly introducing in the red corner, challenging for the UK number one spot, weighing in at 71.4 kilograms, he fights out of Masters Ken's fight team. Ladies and gentlemen, Niall Brown! And standing across the ring in the blue corner, his opponent, he comes to the ring, the current reigning, defending UK number one Thai boxer at 72.5. Yesterday weighing in at 72.1 kilograms, he fights out of the Yokel Training Center at the world-famous bad company gym in Leeds, England. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, John Freeman! This will be a very, very good fight indeed. Is Niall Brown as good as they say? Or is Joe Craven going to reign supreme? We'll see. Nothing but impressive performances from these two. Craven has had a couple of flat ones, but he's also been in some absolute scorchers. And when he's on it, he's on it. And he says he's on it, we'll see. Now, Brown, quiet, unassuming character, very, very nice, very, very humble and quiet. An absolute demon in the ring. Our referee is Mr. Ricky Sewell, and it's five three minute rounds for the British number one spot in UK. Number one spot, 72.5 kilos. It's an exciting one, this, Gavin. It really is. You know, I'm a fan of both guys, and um, so am I. it's a fight. It's a fight I've been waiting for to see this. Great right one. Now started south. Up.
Push kick sharp, right hand, left hook. He's hurt Craven with that. He hurt Craven with that, but he's got a good chin, Craven, and he's strong in the clinch. You can see this physically. You know, Craven's, combination. Craven's used to very orthodox Thai yes. fighters. He's not going to be used to this unorthodox sort of style that, that Brown's going to bring to this. So he's got to stick to his own game plan. He's got to get busy with the kicks. Good right Good hand. Right hand. He's, he's fast here. He started sharp, this Niall Brown here. Left hook and a right hand from Craven, who is absolutely teaked off. Gives it back, Gavin. Yep. so many questions in this fight you know Brown hasn't been there uh, where Craven's been before no he hasn't you know and Craven's had it had it, had it tough and, and had to drag himself out drag performances out of himself before but Brown has not had that just yet looks strong in a clinch Craven and that was always not been his forte but it must be part of the battle plan but he got wobbled huh? Sh shocked at least by Brown a little bit nervous, Craven, doesn't he? Looks yeah, he looks a little, little bit. He looks a bit. He looks a bit twitchy. Yeah. You know, he looks a little bit twitchy. But we've seen this before with him. Sometimes he takes a couple of rounds just to settle down. He almost sometimes needs a, a little bit of a, a, a shock just to get him into the fight. He dismissed with that right hand, Brown, and that's what he's looking for. Got that shot. Good elbow from Brown. He looks at out of sorts here, Craven, you know. He's been caught early and he's yep. been caught cold. But he is tough. You'll have to drag him out of there. Good shot to the body. Right hand in the This is gonna be this is gonna be for a, a war this, you can see it already. It's already a war, Gavin. Yeah. Looks calmer though, the two, doesn't he now? Yeah, he does. More very, in control. Very, very, very slick operator. Good elbow from Brown. Exciting fight, this sweaty palms here, Gavin. Strong Stop jab sure. then from Craven. He felt that one, Brown. A good good right shot arm. from Craven. This is a good fight. They've both been hurting this. Brilliant, brilliant open round. Already. Very, very fast start from Brown. Craven took a few minutes to catch, a couple minutes to catch up there. Yeah, I've got to agree that. I mean, shell shots a bit there, Craven. Yeah. Here we go. Some of the action here was absolutely superb. It started so fast. Good body shot, head, really body. Wasn't really wasn't an really elbow at the end. There. Good right hand through the middle there, fantastic. Craven took that really well then. Came back good in the clinch himself. Good fight this. Of course, I didn't see that elbow. Ten 
So here we go then for a very exciting fight indeed. Round two. Round two then. Sturdy and strong, Craven. Sharp left body kick. That's nice. He's getting into his work nicely. I've seen a few people freeze in front of Brown before, and they kind of waited for him a little bit too long. It's difficult to counter against. You just got to do your own work. It's what Craven's doing. He's doing it well. He started off well this round. It's macho though, isn't it? A macho yeah. time at, at, at times. This Gavin. You know, anything you can do, I can do better. Well, at the end of the day, it's it, this, is, this is this is this is to be to be number one. You know. You're not taking my number one, and I want your number one. It's, it's, there is a macho element to this, definitely there's ego involved. Left hook and the right hand was blocked. I feel like Craven has his chin in there a little bit. He's trying to shots. contain Brown at times, yeah. though, with his shots. What I do like about Piven, he can stick to a game plan. Good shot that was. He took that well. There's nothing wrong with his chin at all, Cravens. Good shot from Brown through the middle. This is where Craven's got to do his work. Tire Brown yeah. out. Matching knee for knee here. Well, a better lock is on Craven, has got the lock on the arm. He's much busier there in the yeah. clinch. The quality's there with him. Yeah, he's not landing knees with any gusto. Brown. He's got to get it back in there, Craven. And he's got a good right hand to the body when he throws it, Craven. Better round for Craven this, Gavin. Yeah, yeah, he's woke up for sure. He knows he's in a fight, he can't he can't go to sleep on this guy. No, Brown will take you out. Coming forward all the time, ominously. Good right knee. Was caught by Craven. Strong jab from him. Redden on the leg of the Halifax man. He takes a left hook and a right el left elbow, sorry. It's a frenetic pace, this. Yeah, it's been a brilliant pace. <laughs> pace. It's a very, very tiring way to fight. Do you think this pace... Good heavy jab. Do you, do you think Craven's this, round, though, for yeah, me. Yeah, do, do, this, do you think this pace suits Craven more or Brown more? Brown. Yeah. I think, I think it suits Brown more. Yeah. Look at Brown. Yeah. Cabin. Craven's did a lot of work there, physical work, didn't he? Trying to yeah. manhandle Brown. Brown can relax. Look how calm he is. See? Look at the difference in the two. Craven oh. looks, I mean, look, Craven's experience is tough. Do, 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 you, th do you think do you think Craven may, may have underestimated Brown a little no, bit? No, not at all. No. He made the weight comfortably. He trained really hard. I was talking to him early on in the week. He was saying that he made the weight comfortably and he was very, very confident. But this kid. Over here, look at the difference how, how, how calm he looks. Oh, definitely. Here's some of the action. Craven took some clean shots. 
but he come back in blistering form at times. Good, good right hand for him. His hands look sharp today. Brown knows how strong Craven is in the clinch. Blood across the nose of the young Bad Company start. And we'll see an intriguing fight this Gavin that did oh, have massively. the community split down the middle. Yeah. I was on the fence with it. Ten seconds. Seconds out. Round three. The fire's been set and lit. Let's see who can take the heat. Round number three. Good solid jab. Sharp good, work, good clever, smart work. This is from Brown. He's changed tactics here. That he's come out, he's working, imposed, yeah, he's imposed that jab on Craven early doors. Yeah. Doesn't need to box with him, Craven. Just a walk forward, get his clinch off. Shouldn't box with him, Craven. A good Ooh. elbow from Niall Brown. Another elbow. Craven's in trouble here, Gavin. His chin's too high in the air. He's trying to box with a boxer. Still a Herb long the way to go elbow in this round again. as well. He's holding on. He's rocked. You won't get Craven out of the elbow right down the middle from Brown. Another elbow, another elbow. He's getting elbow to bits here. He's doing a right number oh. on Craven at the moment. Craven goes down. And there's blood pouring from the face of the Halifax star. That's a really bad face. cut. That's a it's horrendous a very, cut. very bad cut, cut, and the fight's been stopped. And Niall Brown pulled it out of the bag when they thought he's a danger, this boy. What a performance. He really is. That was an absolute scintillating performance. The heart of a lion of Joe Craven that's shown bravery beyond his infantile years. But this Niall Brown was absolutely on fire and he changed it in round number three. Let's see it again. The jab on the boxing, Gavin, yeah, and they were screaming at him not yeah, to... Yeah, he came out, he came out, and that was a good elbow. Absolutely he beautiful elbow. He came out and imposed elbow. his jab early on in that round and it just took control of the fight completely. Yeah. And then he just absolutely went to town on oh. Craven with elbows and Ooh. took a big... He took a right shellac in there, Gavin, he really did. His kid, he's very, very good indeed. If, if, and Niall if, Brown if, is really one to watch. If we can get a the shot, that, cut, that, that, that cuts a Ladies really and gentlemen, bad cut. Ladies and just goodness. also incidentally, Master Sken, our Grandmaster Sken, has been uh, recently had some health problems and he's here tonight and we've got nothing but love for him. And we wish him all the very best and his beautiful wife, Kay, the very, very best indeed. But that was some performance, wasn't it, by Niall Brown? Absolutely it was. You know, you put Niall Brown, it, 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 it was just in a similar situation, maybe a bit further down the line, as Stuart Stabler. It was his first big test, you yes. know what I mean? And he passed it with flying colours. Yeah, he did. Flying colours. And you tend to find with these fighters, when you pass these tests, they go on another, another, another five or six levels up on this as well. Yeah. They take massive amounts of confidence from this and they move on very quickly. Well, he's king of the castle now, isn't he? The number one spot. 72.5 kilos been ripped from the clutches of Joe Craven. And a superb performance by Niall Brown. Commiserations to Joe, he'll be back. He's a tough kid. There's lessons to learn. And there's things to do. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, first of all, please, a massive round of applause for both fighters. Yep, huge round of applause and justifiably so.
And after one minute and 40 seconds of round number three, our referee has stopped the contest, awarding this bout to your winner. And the new UK number one tie boxer in the red corner, very sporting Mayo of show to do that. Brown. Looks like a Vietnam veteran now, doesn't he? And that was a great performance. Also please from Joe Craven. That was a very good performance from Brown. I've got to give this kid credit. He's the one to watch. Craven will be back, rest assured, but what a great performance that was. Absolutely, seconded. I look forward to the next fight.